Good morning, fishy folks. It's going to be a midweek update. Not sure when I will post it, but midweek sometime. So you're looking at some Marble Angels. Uh, I put some Rapashi, the community one, uh, in the tank yesterday, in every tank. The live bearers gobbled it up. The angels, not so much. So, there's that angel tank. There's this angel, angel tank. There's this angel tank. And this angel tank. So I'm gonna go with angels didn't like it. These guys eat anything. At least I think they ate it. That black angel is hiding again. See back there? See his fin? I don't know if he ate it. These guys devoured it. I gotta get in there and do some detail cleaning. Maybe tonight when I uh, change water and dose my second. The second course of Levamisol. I already dose it three times, three separate times. But really one dose is two times, so. <clears throat> yeah, everybody else, all the live bearers love the Rapashi. The angels, not so much. I don't know what's up. Not dead. It's just. I don't know. He had the same problem in the other tank upstairs, like I said. But he's been good down here for a couple months. I have to keep an eye on him. This angel looks like he's doing okay. The Dalmatian Mollies in their new home. Seem like they're doing okay. So I filled the sump pump extra high before I dosed with Amosol. And I didn't take water out. I probably should have, but I didn't. Right now we're probably running at 78.9 in the sump. So probably about 74, 75 in the tanks, depending on what level. The ones on the top row are probably about the same as the sump. Um, we broke down my son's 55 uh, African cichlid tank yesterday, so I do have another 400 watt heater. I could potentially put it in there, but I'm gonna wait. Wait till I redo the system to change. Live bearers are breeding like crazy. It's just the angels that aren't breeding right now, and that's okay. Um, I wanna make sure everybody's okay. I do have to get do some maintenance on these filters. Sponge filters are great, very inexpensive. Even maintenance is easy. It's just uh, the maintenance is a little more um, detailed than just a you know regular hang on back where you can swap out a filter or something. <clears throat> if I were to just pull that sponge out, it would drop a lot of that gunk and then that gunk would still be in the tank, so when you plug the sponge back in, guess where it's gonna go? So, the method is to basically gently put it in a bag and lift the bag out, and then all the gunk gets caught in the bag, so. I will be doing that this week too, before I leave. Everybody else looks okay back here. Let's check some top tanks. These guys look okay. Little daddy, what's up? How about the Pleco? Look at the work he's done. Clean that wall nice, now he's on this side. <coughs> so I think the plan is for, to move him from here, then to here, and then when I go away, I don't know. I may put him down there, at least that's a 30. There's wood in there. Um, but I'm afraid he's going to uproot all those plants that I got to bring to my local fish store anyway. Maybe I'll put them in the 55. I'll drop a piece of wood in there and let them just hang out in there until I get back and figure out what I want to do. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. Those guys are doing well. Changing water on Solo's tank. 
these guys look okay, the new guppies. Curious to see how they turn out. Still no fry up here, which is kind of surprising, but I, I turned the heat up in here at 84 degrees in the library. They should be dropping fry like it's no tomorrow. And there's our buddy Solo. So I asked my son to bring down all the stuff that was in his tank. Look what he did. He left. I told him to leave the, the filters on the floor in front of my bench so they didn't, you know, he, I didn't, he didn't put them on the bench and everything get wet, but I guess I gotta clean up. Got some more tops. I'll be installing those this week. Help with water. I don't have that much evaporation, but you know, you can put a tank, a, a light on here. Oh, a light? I could put a light on there, but I won't. I could put a top on there, on there. So, all right, that's it for now. Enjoy the fish. Well, fishy folks, doing major water changes and the fish room is a disaster. It's just a mess. Got pumps everywhere, cords. Still having cleanup from my son's mess. My youngest son was down here playing with rocks. Um, so, doing a huge volume water change to dose with uh, Levamisol again. Um, the tanks are a mess. I did feed Rapashi again. You can see there's a little bit left there. Um, the angels haven't eaten in 24 hours, so no more Rapashi for them. Um, I did lose one of these new guppies this morning, or when I came home from work. I don't know why. Because um, it's the same town, so the water should be pretty similar, but don't really know. Um, Solo's doing fine. You can see him right there. Um, so with my system, because everything flows from the top, <coughs> I drain the bottom tanks and I drain the middle tanks a lot. And then I use the pump to fill them up. And then I just turn the valves and start overflowing from the top. Um, and the system, that's how I refill the system. So like I have this valve on now, which I'm actually gonna shut off. And these guys are filling now. Um, this one is pretty much full, so we'll shut that down. This one is also pretty much full, so we're gonna shut that down. And then we'll start with the top tanks again. So now, water is flowing to the top. You can see water coming in there. It'll overflow, drain into this tank, and then overflow down here and drain into the sump. When I change the system, it'll all drain into a sump. This sump actually, and I'm just putting a float switch there to drain it when it gets full. All right guys, I'll be back. Good morning fishing folks. This is good news. The top tanks are running at 78.5. And the middle tank, 76.7. I say that because it's 42 degrees outside here in New Jersey. And we didn't have the heat on because it was pretty nice yesterday during the day. <coughs> and I woke up this morning and come downstairs and I'm pretty damn cold. I look at the thermostat and it's 61 degrees in the house. But down here in the fish room, one heater in the sump, and then the blankets to keep the heat in, the dehumidifier, the air pump up here, which probably isn't doing much since it's so high. And we're at, the tanks are in good shape, 78, 76. So I'm pretty happy. I, I don't, these guys are picky eaters. No, these guys aren't picky eaters. But they didn't eat the cichlid, cichlid pellets I dropped in yesterday. What is he doing? Um, just did a big water change yesterday, as you just saw. It's actually the next day. Oh, problem with the filter. I'm going to fix that now before I forget, because I did forget last time. Hold on. All right, all fixed. So when I started my fish room, 
first place I looked for parts was Gemco. I'll try to remember to put the description below, but John, the owner, fantastic. Very knowledgeable, his prices are great. The website has thousands of items. You know, things for a fish room or a fish store is basically what they have. Um, but I got my airline tubing from him. <clears throat> there's the number, there's his website, uh, his email address, and you know, high soft silicone tubing. I forget how much this was, it was pretty cheap, but you know, it's made in China. Feels great, it's real soft now, but you know, a couple months in a tank and it, it gets rock hard. Um, so if, look, it came off again. So I guess I gotta run a new line. So if you get, if you build a fish room or buy a big spool of airline tubing, buy the good stuff. It's worth it in the end, cause this wasn't the first tank I set up, but I would imagine it was one of the first ones. I think this row was first, these three, actually. This was probably, you know, a couple weeks or a week after, so I started in February, I think, maybe March. So it gives you an idea, seven, eight, seven or eight months maybe, and that tubing is rock hard. Uh, so I gotta fix that. I did put a heater down here. Um, I had an extra heater, so I'm going to see if that helps them with breeding. Um, you know, they're pretty good looking mollies, like that one, the really gold one with the black band on his tail, the top one, which I guess you really can't see. I guess the other one has a black band. Anyway, they're really good looking, and I think they would do well in the mar on the market. Uh, there are a lot of plants in here I have to bring to my local fish store. I just don't know if I'm going to do that before I leave for my trip or after. I do need Cyclops for when I leave um, because the babies over here are being fed Cyclops. Um, and so is Solo. So I do have to buy some of that before I go to make sure my son has enough food. No more dead guppies in here, that's good. I'd like to get a bulb. Took the bulb out to bring. Let's see if they didn't eat that omnivore pellet from Aquarium Co-op either. That's interesting. Corey's fish just devour it. These guys didn't. Everyone else does, but these guys didn't. Eh, maybe it's too big for them. These guys ate it all, yeah. That's what I fed last night for the most part. <sighs> I thought I unplugged this heater and it's still 83. So what did I actually unplug? That's not good. Maybe I unplugged another heater. All right, I just unplugged that heater. Ooh. Hey, so, uh, how's everybody doing? I forgot what I was gonna say. All right, well, I'm gonna go fix that airline, feed my fish. <clears throat> he looks dead, doesn't he? I, I Seriously, I walked over and went, damn, I lost a guppy. But no, it's just <coughs> an albino bristlenose pleco going to town. It's creepy. Any more babies? No, just those two big ones. Interesting. 76, they probably should be producing, but. Okay, guys. Oh, I did want to show you this. Look how clean that tank is. This side's clean, too. I'm actually going to move him into this tank um, when we're done. All right, see ya. Well, you can see it's fixed. I basically took it off the nipple. <coughs> it actually was this one over here. So I swapped these two because. This one was going this way, and this one was going this way. So I reversed it, so that end was the end that was in the water. It fits better on the nipple. Um, you can see the water's all cloudy. I do have to do some filter maintenance, like I said in my last video. Um, I also put some, there was a light that went across here uh, that I was using to grow out the java moss. 
and I have plenty as you can see up in here and in here so uh, and, and that light the bulb took a crap so a couple weeks ago so I don't know why the light was up there basically because I'm lazy so I took it off I put these dirty tops that were upstairs in my son's room first he had these tops well, first he had these tops and one broke so then he went with these tops where the light stopped work something happened the light stopped working maybe yeah that's it the light stopped working um, I don't remember to be honest I'm just babbling now I haven't had my cart Starbucks yet <sighs> okay where was I all right so dirty tops I have to clean them I'm not really concerned quite frankly um, all right I'm gonna feed now and see if there's anything anything else that's interesting to film for you not that this is interesting but it is what it is so let me show you how easy aquarium co-ops easy green is I'm gonna switch hands because it'll be better one pump for 10 gallons are you ready Zam, kapow. I got nothing. Gotta fix that filter. All right, here we go, that's the trouble. Okay. That's it, done. Did I get this one? I don't think so. Missed. Oh, I wasted it. That's it. Less than a minute. How many tanks did I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Oh, I forgot this thing. Twenty-two tanks. Right? Less than a minute. Probably closer to 45 seconds. That's how easy it is. Same thing goes with the squeeze food. I mean, it's great. Hopefully, this will last longer than I think it's going to. It's so easy. That's why I like it. That's my food pile. We're passionate. My workbench is sort of a mess. I still have yet to finish those. My goal is to finish them before I leave on Saturday morning at 5.30 a.m., but we'll see. I fed blood worms. Um, you can see the remnants on the bottom. Surprise, these guys haven't gobbled them up. Uh, <clears throat> I will be feeding the uh, Cyclops now, but I forgot to put water in the little cup, so they didn't defrost. But I'll feed it now. You want to watch? Let's watch. Cyclops. You may rec uh, recognize this cup from the 21 day fix. I need a lot more than 28 days to get fixed. Ah, these guys, these guys. Uh, these guys, can you see? About that, that's better. These guys. Move this tank so Lucas could get his toy, but he never got his toy. That's Obi Wan Kenobi. If you're interested, these guys. No, no, those guys. These guys. These guys. Right, that's what's left. These guys and Mr. Solo. I did put some blood worms in Solo's tank too. I don't know if he saw them or smelled them, but he's eating the, uh, the Cyclops now. Those guys are stirring up the Cyclops too. So I have seven. Actually, yesterday I counted seven. Let's count today. I'm shocked. Like, I don't see any bodies. I don't know where they're going. 
I'm shocked and sorry about the terrible camera I just did. <laughs> so count one, two, three. I gotta look. I can't look through the camera. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. I like, thought I counted seven yesterday. And you can see the snail population is coming back, which actually is not what I want in this tank. Um, I think the snails eat eggs, but I mean, I had plenty of eggs when I was, and snails in this tank when I started to raise them. So, so six, one, two, three, four, five, six. But like, where'd the other body go? Maybe I only counted six yesterday? I don't know. And these guppies, like, they, do you not see the food down there? It's not too big. I've had other guppies, smaller guppies, gobble up bloodworms. All right, I'm sort of just babbling now. I think these are gonna be pretty good looking guppies. The light in here is weird though. So, but I think they're gonna be pretty good looking. Solo. Not looking good. Looking good. Okay, guys, that's it for now. Maybe I'll follow up later. Maybe I won't. Everybody have a great day. Enjoy your fish keeping. And today's actually Tuesday, so have a taco for Corey. I made tacos last night specifically, like I didn't eat them yesterday. I made them for lunch today and dinner today. Because today's my long day at work. And if I don't have dinner at work, I get hangry and nobody wants that because I become oof. So it's two Taco Tuesday. Two, twice? What am I, oh, my wife called it two lunch Tuesday. So it's two Taco Lunch Tuesday. All right guys, see ya. Good morning fishy folks. I just fished a dead guppy out of this tank. That's the third one. Yeah. It's been one every day so far. See, what's today? Wednesday? Got him Sunday, Monday. Yeah, it's been one every day. I don't know why. Water parameters are 0010. <coughs> I can't imagine the tank they came from is that much different. Whoa, sorry. Hold on. Try not to wreck the place. There we go. Um, it's possible. And he's not on well water. It's the same town. It's just the other side of town. He's not using crushed coral or anything in his tank. I mean, he just had standard, you know, fish store gravel. I didn't check his pH, but I, like I said, I couldn't imagine it being any different. Um, I drip acclimated. I did have a comment. Someone said, I never drip acclimate my guppies and I never lose any. And I've started drip acclimating um, just recently, actually. I never used to, but now I do. Um, unless I get fish in the mail, then it's plop and drop. But other than that, I try to drip acclimate. So, <coughs> that's not true. These guys, I, I floated. But usually I drip acclimate now. <coughs> so the update... Uh, it's going to be a short one, I think. Uh, Solo's doing great. All the guys in here are still alive. I counted six just now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, look at the different sizes, though. I mean, one of them's almost solo size. The other one is tiny, like an Ewok. Oh, Star Wars reference. I do want to say it's 30 degrees outside here in South Jersey today. And... The heat was on last night, so if you guys don't remember last year, I stole a heating duct. You know, that's supposed to be connected there to a register up in the family room, which is right above us, but there's two up there. See, there's the other pipe. There's the other one right there. So, you know, big deal. Anyway, so I stole this one, and the room gets pretty warm. I do need a thermometer and a hygrometer down here. Uh, just so I can tell. It's kind of asked for it for my birthday. A digital one that I could look on my phone and, you know, Bluetooth. 
and I didn't get it. So maybe this year for Christmas I'll get it. We'll see. Anyway, the point of this ramble is uh, 78 on the top tanks, 78 on the middle tanks. Um, I don't have a thermometer on the bottom tanks. 85 for the ram. Too bad he doesn't have any females. When I get back from Japan, that will be one of the first things I look for. Uh, oh, here. 75 over here, but I think I think this is the one that's not accurate. You know what? Let's let's see if we can't do some scientific study. That's the problem with these cheap things. You do get what you pay for. <coughs> but for a good, accurate, not accurate, for a good, quick, hey, what's the temperature? We'll see. Okay, so that one's at 76 now. That one's at 70. Maybe that tank is cooler. I mean, who the hell am I? We'll see. Uh, no more babies in here. Still kind of surprising. These guys just keep multiplying. I noticed you can see the tiny, tiny fry in the back. They were probably just dropped the day before. There's the dead uh, Pleco. I know he's not dead. I'm just going to call him zombie from now on. Yeah, those are pretty damn accurate. All right, so why is that tank so cool down there? The heating vent is right here. Huh. That's interesting. Because those tanks, they definitely would like warmer since they have angels in them. Oh, look at that. They're spot on. Well, slap me and call me silly. All right, so, so much for that hypothesis. I'm just gonna be quiet now, because apparently I have no idea what I'm talking about. Let's see what this one goes to. Can I prop this up somewhere? Oh, just like that, look. Okay. These guys, what the, who's that? How did a guppy get in there? So the only way this could happen, well, I guess he could have been stuck on a net. <clears throat> but I'm thinking he got sucked down an intake and pushed through the pump. I don't know if that's even possible without being ground guppy. But look at that. There's a guppy in there. Hundreds of, hundreds, a hundred platies, Mickey Mouse platies in one guppy. So this tank is almost three degrees cooler. And these guys aren't eating. They didn't eat the crow. They didn't eat the rapashi, and they didn't eat the crow, the northern krill gold. Huh. I have brine shrimp. Let's see if they eat the brine shrimp. Ooh, yummy. It. What are you doing? Do I have to separate you two again? I think I do. All right, well, I'm gonna go check that out. Yeah, they're eating. Hmm, very interesting. This segment is six minutes, and I was just gonna do a quick one minute thing. All right, this video is going to be really long, as you know by now, because this is the last part of it. Just an update. Um, I may do an update Friday night before, uh, before I try to head off to bed before my trip. I also want to try to take some footage in Japan. If I can hit up a new fish store, or even go back to some of the old ones, or some of the ones that I was at six months ago. So, hope everyone has a good day, a good week, and... Uh, have fun with your fishies.